So this week, um, the new self-marking quizzes were released for Microsoft Teams assignments. So you can set students um, uh, multi-choice questions, they can complete them, and it can automatically be marked uh, rather than the teacher having to mark them. And the teacher can just view the, view the results and it just, uh, again, just makes things a bit easier if you want to set them a quick, uh, quick quiz. So what we'll do is we'll open up Microsoft Teams. I'll go, go, go straight to the assignment tab through our class dashboard. So here's the assignment page. And when we go to create, you'll now see there's an extra option to create a new quiz. So you can look at our previous videos of how to create an assignment from scratch, but this is a new option now, create a self-marking quiz. So I choose new quiz. You'll get a list of all the quizzes you might have made previously in Microsoft Forms. And we can also create a new one. So I can press New Form. This will open up Microsoft Forms. I'm going to create a new quiz. And we'll call this Of Mice and Men Character Quiz. So I can put in the description. This is a quiz and I'm going to put in a picture so I can put in some pictures. I can even do an image search in Bing so of my Sandman, make it look a bit more attractive. I can add that picture as part of the quiz header. I can add a question so <clears throat> I can add either multi-choice, a text field, rating, date, ranking, there's a few other additional ones that you might find in here as well. So I'm going to start off with just a choice. So uh, first question I'm going to copy and paste in that I've prepared earlier. Uh, what does Curly's wife, confession of her unhappy life and ruined dreams do? And then I can put in the different choices available to the student to pick. Now for the correct answer, you can select the tick, uh, the tick icon there, and I'll mark that as the correct answer. I can give them some points for getting that correct, so it might just be one point for that. I can make it required as well, so they have to complete that question before they submit their quiz. I can then add another question, I'll just add another multi-choice one. And I can just mark the correct answer, again assign some points to it to make it required. So you can continue adding all the questions, the different types, and that will save automatically. There's no save button. So if I go back into Microsoft Teams, go to create the quiz again, you'll see the character quiz appears there to choose from. So I can select this as one of the quizzes I'm going to set this group. And because you've set it, you've created it in Microsoft Forms, you can reuse it in the future, either with other classes, maybe um, in next academic year, you might want to use the same quiz again or update it. So you can do that because it's all stored in your personal store. And you'll see it opens up uh, the assignment page, just like we've seen previously, where I can assign it to a single group or to multiple groups that I teach. I can assign it to uh, all the students in that group or just to different groups of, of students. It gives me a title, so it's automatically populated that. Please complete the quiz. And I can put a due date and time, so it might be uh, next Thursday at 4 o'clock. I can even schedule it to assign later, so I can set this to actually be published on Friday at noon and the students won't get set that assignment until that particular date and time. Um, so I'm just going to take that off so we can schedule it straight away. Um, and I can also um, assign some points. Now because the points have already been set in the quiz, it's picked up that there's two questions, two points are possible. And then I can assign it to the group. So I press assign and that will then be pushed out um, students will get notification on their phone or tablet if they've got the app installed um, and then they need to go in and complete that piece of work. So this is the students view. They can come in and they can do this from a mobile device as well. They don't need to be using a um, desktop device like I'm using here. So I can go into the Of My Cement Character Quiz 
I can see any instructions I've got. I can open it up. This will load the quiz that I set up with the multiple choices. And I can go down here and I can make my selections. Submit it. That has been um, submitted. I can then view the results instantly. I can see I've got two out of two on there, the correct answers. And if we switch back to being a teacher, so logged in as a teacher, I can then go back and I can review this quiz. So I can press the review button. This will show me a list of all the students in the group. It will show me who's viewed the homework, who's handed it in, and who's not even looked at it yet. And I can actually click on a student work. I can see what her grades, uh, what answers she selected and how many points she got. I can even put some comments on here so I can give them some feedback. You can also do things like um, print the response and post the scores. So if I go to post scores, that will post the scores and the feedback that I've given them back to the students. Logged in as a student, I can see the work that's been returned to me. I can see the marks. And if I open up the quiz, not only do I see the marks that I saw previously when it was auto marked, but I can also see the comments that the teachers left for me on that page. Great work, Susan. So I hope that's a good overview of the new functionality that is now available in Microsoft Teams for education. This is in addition to things like rubric grading criteria and the other announcements that came out over the summer. So it should be a really great learning tool now for you to set assignments and homework electronically in the class and students can get access to them um, on any device, anywhere.